welcome to another Gamer to Gamer review with me, Solace Conquest, and this is Mad Max, and I'm playing this on the Xbox One for the purpose of the review. It's very difficult to describe Mad Max in terms of other titles on the market, it's very much a combination of Borderlands and Rage, without Rage's monotonous boredom. Batman's melee combat is loosely used too, offering a more action oriented version rather than the free flow brilliance. The post-apocalyptic wasteland is fun to explore, taking time away from the story is where the real fun begins. Your main objective out in the wasteland is to destroy what is left of the warlord's influence over territories and strongholds. You can do this by destroying terrifying totems erected by his men, taking down warlord settlements, and taking down convoys of supplies and clearing landmines with the help of a canine helper, Dinky D. The more rewarding of these, is taking down the warlord settlements because there's a chance that allies will move in and then supply you a scrap occasionally which is very helpful for your survival it's also ex advised to explore early as, as possible as coming across areas with lots of scrap can drastically improve your chances of survival scrap can be used to build parts for your car the magnum opus and to build armor and equipment for max himself also in your travels you'll come across project parts designed to make strongholds you've become friendly with a lot stronger. These range from health upgrades to scrap teams which means you can just pick scrap up as you go along on the road. The story itself is good in which you're looking to get your old car back from the stronghold of the warlord and destroy the negative impact that he has placed upon the world. In the process trying to end the war of the region and the power cyclone it has created in its place. With most adventure games, however, it does take a backseat rather quickly to explore the insane world around you. Teaming up with Dinky D and Chum Bucket, the maniacal engineer resembling Gollum from Lord of the Rings, you can build bigger and better cars in the form of Archangels. Archangels serve many purposes. They could be speedsters for races. They can also be beasts where you can just go in and destroy things and create general havoc. By all means, Mad Max isn't a bad game. It has the usual adventure RPG sort of elements combined with each other to make some decent melee combat, and the real combat is in its cars. Hear that? What's up? Gas toner! <laughs> cars can be upgraded with bigger engines, better engines between V6 and V8. You can upgrade its armor, you can put spikes on the side. You can even upgrade the hubcaps to do damage to the wheels of other cars, along with the harpoon and the sniper rifle that you can use from range. This is where the real satisfaction comes in. Of course, in the later part of the game, you get more and more upgrades to come with it, which is a lot more fun to really get into. It is missing something though, and although we can't really quite put our finger on what that something is, Mad Max just isn't as strong as the other games that are out there, like the brilliant Metal Gear Solid 5 or the even The Witcher 3 that was out in February. But its quirkiness in an, apop an apocalyptic, insane wasteland is great. Mad Max is now available on PS4 and Xbox One. I hope you enjoy this review. Thank you. What did I tell you? V8, not V6. You're uh, exactly. Eight is the magic number. <laughs> you and me, we're gonna land a big chief. A bona fide bad boy. Huh? 429 cubic inches, 460 horses, holy rolling. Nobody could touch you on the blacktop day or night. Why, you'd be evergreen, eternal, road tripping with the gods. <laughs> Where is it? Gas town. Well, let's go.